Welcome back to the Luxury Home Show, everybody. Today, you join us in London. We're right next to Regent's Park, and we're gonna be showing you a stunning end of terrace property on Cumberland Terrace. Now, you can see it behind me with this archway. It was actually designed in the 18th century by John Nash, who's most known for his work on Buckingham Palace. So yeah, rich in history. The property has just under 4,900 square feet of interior space, five bedrooms, five bathrooms, over five floors of accommodation. The property is listed for 11 and a quarter million pounds with Charlie from Oliver Bernard. It's got an internal lift, allowing you to get around the property, a roof terrace, and some great lounge spaces as well. So we're really looking forward to heading inside and showing you all. Should we get going, Jess? Yeah, let's go. Let's go. I'm going to pop a quick floor pan up so you guys can get your bearings as we work our way through the property. We have this first entrance area here with the slate tiles and it's then separated. It comes in through the double doors I've just opened into this entrance hall where we immediately have some very grand features from the cornicing around to the ceiling heights. Yeah, looks absolutely incredible. We've got the dark wood herringbone flooring as well going all the way through this ground floor. We're going to take you on into the first room. So this is the formal lounge of the house, one of two lounges. So we're gonna show you some great entertaining spaces, but like I said, with the grand ceiling heights, huge window at the front, bringing in loads of natural light. It's an incredible place to sit down with a guest. We've got a fireplace that side as well, and a circular mirror, loads and loads of storage, all very bespoke. But if we come on through, we have then the dining area through these bifold doors. It's worth noting that you can completely shut it off. So those two areas can be separate, but it's nice to have that open flow to the home. We've got another fireplace in here, some more cornicing as well. It's worth noting we have aircon around the property in each room. Mm -hmm. We've also got integrated speakers in the ceilings as well, which is yeah. pretty sweet, right? I like Massive these, dining table. Oh yeah, I like these wall lights with the up lighting. Yes, that vertical lighting on the wall. Okay, and then as we come through here, we've got the herringbone flooring again flowing through into this service kitchen where we have the wine cooler. Push it open. Oh, I like them. <laughs> we've also got the microwave oven here as well some sink space, loads of shelving, big window here with loads of natural light flooding in, but we also have the spotlights above as well, which is very useful, but it'd be a great place to make a drink in here, I think, and then take it through into the lounge or dining area. We're gonna head down now into the next floor of the property so that we can show you the lounge space. So I'll see you down there. Now we're on the lower ground floor of the property. We have another little utility space here. It's worth noting that all of these bits are hidden away. So very convenient, very necessary for a property, but those bits are nice and tucked away so you don't have to look at them. And we're coming on through. We now have the, the large tiled flooring, but if we check this little whiteboard out, we've got a cool message for you guys. Subscribe! <laughs> now coming on into the kitchen, we've got the Miele induction hob. We've also got the fridge this side, and then this side, we have the tucked away ovens. Oh, nice. Which just, again, add into that real sleek, tucked away look. We can even put these doors inside here, like little pocket doors. Oh, yeah. And it keeps it really nice and seamless. So you can have it out or away, up to you. We've got the stone worktops all the way around here in an L shape with the sink in front of me. But this dining space is really cool. It's a much more informal style of a dining area yeah. than the big, large dining table that we saw upstairs, but this would be a great spot to sit and eat your breakfast. Definitely, it's a great use of space using like the backs of the island as yeah. The seats. Yeah, it works really well, it looks awesome. We've even got a wine cooler the other side where Jazz is stood, as well as some great storage as well. But one of the coolest features about this room is the fact that where we're stood is entirely mezzanine so we're on like a gallery landing looking down into our next lounge space which we are going to go down and show you now so here we are down in the informal lounge space if we have a little look up jazz you can see back up to where we are with all of those spotlights speakers in the ceiling in here i can imagine this being an incredible entertaining area of the house yeah lovely soft sofas as well i think i should do a sit test here because it looks so ideal and then we've got the tv in front of me there aircon again and incredible ceiling heights yeah, great property for entertaining. There's also a bunch of seating areas on this side of, of the room as well, it's on like these steps. Snug. Oh, sorry, it's like a snug. Yeah, it's really cool. And even though we're sunken below ground, we've still got the lighting. You've kind of got those light wells outside. Yeah, so exactly. So up these steps here, I'm not gonna go up, just gonna show you guys. There's some storage up there, but we do have an access point out to that little courtyard space that Jared was talking about. 
Okay, now we're gonna head on down through here. Just exploring right now. We're gonna head up these two steps. We have a bathroom through here. I love the black splashback tiles behind the sink. Yeah. Very unique basin. And then obviously we've got the toilet in there as well. And then through this glass door here, we have this incredible wine store slash wine cellar. If you were a collector of wine and you fancy yourself as a bit of a connoisseur, what better place than in there to yeah. showcase all of your prize bottles. Then we're gonna head on through and keep backing up. Some great ambient lighting down the side of the stairs here. Yeah. It's a great mood, nice and dim down here, very relaxing. Mm. Got the lift behind Jazz. And if we head through here, we have an, a bedroom below ground floor maybe would work as a staff bedroom if you mm -hmm. had a, a nanny or an au pair or something like that. But yeah, perfectly well equipped bedroom. We've got the ensuite through here, loads and loads of storage. Great ensuite in there as well with the, the basin, the shower and toilet. And then we have access to the road there. And like I mentioned before, this lift. But Jazz is gonna head up now and show you guys all of the bedrooms in this property. Let's go guys. We're now on the first floor of the property. We've got this great hallway with the herringbone flooring as well, the cornicing around and some nice feature lights. We've also got this original staircase that's been painted that nice gray with the matching wood to the floor. So it looks really good. Yeah, bit of a contemporary touch to an old feature. Yeah, exactly. But I'm gonna take you through into the principal suite. Wow, wow. great size room. Yeah, it's absolutely huge. We've got a king size bed in the middle, with that view out there, so loads of natural light. We've got tons of bespoke storage too. We've got all of these cupboards which have the ambient light in that automatically turns on when you open them up. Nice and hand painted as well. Very yeah. elegant look in here. Yeah, very, very sophisticated traditional room. We've also got the nice chandelier above the bed and the speakers in the ceiling here too. Aircon yeah. as well, I can see above you. Yeah, handy. But the best thing about this room is this. <laughs> so we have this walk-in dressing area which is accessible through the entrance to the principal bedroom and this side too with the pocket door so you can shut it off. But yeah, once again in here, loads of bespoke wardrobe spaces with the mirrors. There's just so much storage in yeah. here. Yeah, that's incredible. Look at that. But anyway, come through here. I absolutely love this ensuite. So we've got the white marble theme all over the floor, this wall here, and then it pathway on this wall. We've got the double basins here, loving the black features like the taps, the bath in the shower. Yeah, even the push plate on the toilet yeah, looks great. Yeah, exactly. So we've got the freestanding bath here, huge mirror this side, which kind of reflects the light that comes in. So it's a really bright space. Yeah. And then we have the walk-in shower here with the two different showers. Right, we're gonna back on out. So if we come down this way, we actually have this really nice study area now, the great thing about this floor is there's only the principal suite bedroom on it. So it kind of acts as a whole principal suite in a way. So this could be your own little office. I can imagine coming in in the morning with a coffee and just looking out oh, to yeah. this terrace. Yeah, that's cool. Getting to check out that arch each morning. Yeah, and you've just got great views of the skyline as well. Stunning architecture all yeah. around you. It's and we're incredible. so close to Regent's Park as well. It's just across. It. You can just see it right there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, we've also got the residence gardens as well, just out the front. So plenty of green space around here as well. Definitely. And then once again, we've got loads of shelves and storage in here too, as well as air con. Now I'm going to take you up to the final floor and I'll meet you there. Now we're up on the final top floor of the property, that theme of the grey and wooden hand rails coming all the way up here. Yeah, we've got a nice chaise long seating area with a view down the street, but I'm gonna take you into this bedroom. Yeah, these are great size. They also have really soft rugs because the floors are wooden, but yeah. We've got a wardrobe space either side. Yeah, look at that, so much room in there. We've got the really cool lighting on the walls, Tom. Kind of creates it looks a really awesome sharp, shadows. doesn't it? Yeah, it's like down light and up light at the same time. Yeah, it's such a precise it's, light. <laughs> exactly. And then where Tom is, we have the ensuite. It's got a really cool circular mirror, the pocket doors, and a really cool circular kind of floating basin as well. Yeah, very interesting shape that. Yeah, isn't it? and it's got a shower in there too. Yes, this shower is actually in the in the ceiling. Good way to optimize the space exactly. in there. Got a TV on the wall as well. It's nice. And then through here we have 
kind of two bedrooms that are mirrored on each side. This strikes me as a good gym space. Yes. It's got the TV here already and the mat, some natural light. You could open the window up. It'd be a great place to do yeah. some workouts, some yoga or something in the morning. That's such a good idea. You've got all the storage in here as well. Exactly. And then on the other side of Tom, we have kind of a mirrored bedroom there with a really fluffy rug. Yeah, very soft on your feet, isn't it? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then back out here, we have a family bathroom. This one's got a nice bath here. We've got the textured tiles on the wall this side, but then we've got the kind of glossy ones on the floor and this side. Got it's kind of blue. Like a, yeah, blue satin unit. Nice little Kind of matches your outfit. With well. like pinstripes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're gonna come back out. That wooden flooring, dark wooden flooring, continuing throughout. But yeah, we have a little terrace, so we're gonna meet you out there and Let's show you a bit of London skyline. Let's do it. <laughs> this awesome roof terrace space it is quite safe we've got the glass balustrades around but yeah a great space a bit of a sun trap i can imagine this summer this would be absolutely amazing anyway we hope you guys have enjoyed this tour be sure to comment down below your favorite part and to check out the instagram at the luxury home show for some behind the scenes like subscribe and we'll see you in the next one